The National Workers' Union, NWU, confirmed that it received a letter on Monday stating that the cuts will begin immediately. NWU General Secretary Granville Valentine says the job losses will be significant. When you have over 850 workers from one location in rural Jamaica losing their jobs, just consider the impact times four or five, the ratio of the family support, one to five dependency. You're talking about anything with 5,000 people losing their bread. And this is a company that continues to operate in some form, not production, but in other way. You could also look at the other persons from the EVC, which are the coming to work as that works on and off. And that's another 900. So the impact is significant and it cannot be taken lightly. Mr. Valentine expressed surprise at Gisco's Alpart's decision. What we have received, surprisingly, quite disappointed, is a letter over the signature of Mr. Fern, who we represent the company, indicating today, a public holiday, that they will be carrying out redundancy exercise forthwith. Now, this is, you have a number of disputes. One, the formula that should be used. Two, whether or not the redundancy is genuine. Three, the, the fact that letters were issued with Chinese national name taking over functions of Jamaican workers. Gisco Alpart is preparing to suspend alumina production to facilitate an upgrade of its plant. Meanwhile, Mr. Valentine accused the management of Gisco Alpart of reneging on a proposal to retain 300 workers while the plant is being upgraded. You have a number of young engineers that has gone to China to adopt their system, work with the backside company before now and still working. Those technical knowledge of those persons who are expected to go back to work with this plan, the company all of a sudden don't seem to want to include them. The company also indicates to the unions in a meeting that all local management person will be retained during this exercise. Now we are seeing another position where they are suggesting 100% redundancy. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.